Hey guys, Andy here at Grenergy. This is uh, part three of the video. Today we'll be doing a um, test on uh, an EU2200i with power output running on propane. Uh, I, I like to apologize to, uh, to you guys for promising a part three of this video and I know it's taking me so long to do it, just haven't had the time to do it and I just, I guess I there's no excuse to it, but I just have to find time to do vid more videos. Um, so, uh, this is a continuation from part two uh, from the, my previous video and for today we're going to be testing an EU2200i with um, two heaters. Uh, one of the heaters is a 1500 watt and the other one is 1500 watts, 3000 watts total. We, we most likely uh, won't be reaching 3000 watts out of this generator and just generated that this generator is rated at uh, 2200 uh, watts peak and running watts of just 1800 watts. Uh, we're gonna, just going to be pushing this generator, um, which is currently converted with our, our tri-fuel kit and running on propane. So we're going to see if there is any sort of power loss when running on, running on propane. And in order to do that, I have a digital meter here that will tell us uh, amps and watt outputs while running uh, uh, the two heat. I just went ahead and turned on the generator and so now running on propane kind of hard to um, do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to turn on this uh, generator while on propane since I can only do this one-handed but I just went ahead and I just skipped over that and got right to the point here so the kind of mode is uh, is off <clears throat> voltage here 127 volts you want to have the voltage be at uh, between 100 to 130 volts and anything lower than 100 volts, uh, that's that's uh, that's not good. So right now we're sitting pretty good. Uh, wattage, it looks like it's reading some kind of wattage. Maybe there's a little bit of a voltage drop in this extension cord. Uh, quite normal. So frequency is 60. You don't want to go lower than than 60. If you see 50, it's not great either. But everything checks out and looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on uh, the first heater and see how this kicks on. So. First heater, see what it reads. So, this heater is 1500 uh, watts, it's reading 1.5 kilowatts, so that's correct. Second heater is all, should also uh, be 1500 watts, and we're gonna see what it does when we kick that on. So, we're gonna do slowly turn this on, all right? One, two kilowatts, wow. Kilowatts. Let's see the overload lights on. Doesn't look like it's on. I don't want to go more than that. Let's see what it does now. Yep. So, so it's 1.5 kilowatts. This generator. Remember, this generator is rated at 2,200 watts peak or surge, and 1,800 watts running. And it read on there with the second load on so it's right now with setting at number two it's holding steady at one uh, 113 volts two kilowatts and 60 Hertz no overload light I'm not, let's see if I'm gonna push it I'm not gonna leave it on setting three for that long and it's no it looks like it's not going any higher than that Idle's down pretty nice. So we just saw, I think it reached uh, slightly over two kilowatts. And I believe the reason why it wouldn't go any higher than that, despite having uh, two, two heaters on at full, full power, I mean, uh, max, uh, max setting is due to the fact that there's a, more than likely a limitation from this uh, inverter. The inverter would, would, does not allow for it to go any higher than uh, slightly over two 2,000 watts. If it does, then you overheat the inverter board and cause permanent damage to it, so it saved itself. I didn't, we didn't see the overload light come on. It did read two kilowatts. Voltage was held steady at that point, and so did frequency. So we're gonna turn this on again, see what it reads. Oop, we gotta make sure to turn that on, off. 
Try one more time. All right, two heaters are on. Like light come on that time. Came on that time. I'm gonna shut this generator off so I can. <clears throat> so overall summary, uh, we saw um, the voltage drop to about uh, slightly over uh, 100 volts. Uh, max uh, wattage was slightly over uh, 2,000 watts. Even though this thing is rated at 1,800 watts running, uh, this thing ran on 2,000 watts uh, for quite a bit, so it, it went over its rating of uh, 1,800 watts running, which is pretty impressive. Hertz read the same, um, 60 hertz, which is great, held steady at that. And amperage, uh, I believe the amperage, peak amperage was about, uh, um, I think it peaked at 20, uh, 20 amps, which was, uh, pretty good because now because this thing is rated at uh, 20 amps so it did output that so with it being converted on propane with with our uh, tri-fuel kit looked pretty good I'm gonna wrap up this video it's getting pretty dark out but it's gonna be uh, the next video is gonna be a part four and it's gonna be released as soon as after this uh, video is gonna be another um, wattage test but this time, uh, we're going to be hooking up uh, this generator in parallel and comparing uh, wattage output. And also, I'll show you um, how we uh, connect uh, two generators in parallel. All right, guys, if, uh, if there's any comments or questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, also, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, there will be more updates uh, soon to come. Thanks.